Well, here she is. He's 3.4 liter in my 85 Toyota pickup, solid axle, 4x4. Um, yeah, I left that in here for the headlights. Um, I got the other harness in here, the 3.4 um, fuse box. <coughs> I only needed uh, basically like four things out of the entire thing. I got the starter solenoid, uh, alternator, fuse, EFI fuse. I don't know if I need the OBD fuse or not, but I kept it. And then I got the alt alternator fuse, a couple of AMs, and then the EFI relay. Um, yeah, I removed a ton of wires out of there. Um, these are basically the only ones that I need. Um, I have to go through and cut out the rest. All this crap from, from the old harness. Um, what else? Yeah, she's pretty, pretty sweet. I have to do the exhaust still, but um, yeah, this is for that stupid fuel vapor box. I don't want it. It's messy and it's just gonna clutter everything up. So I'm gonna go see a guy about um, programming my computer, the ECU, to not require that. Um, anyway, for the fuel. I just used the old stock 22RE um, fuel filter. I took that uh, the fuel line there and flipped it around, bolted her back up, and this side um, I actually cut the end off it because it had the banjo bolt. Um, when I took the motor, I <coughs> kept this fitting with the fuel line and I left a little chunk of. Um, the line on it, so I cut the line off for the fitting. Uh, flare, double flared this line with the fitting on it, so it bolted right up. That was that was just smart planning. Uh, for the return line, it just uh, I don't know, just rubber hose that goes to the return. Uh, the fuel on the 3.4 is on the driver's side, so just moving. The lines over here wasn't a big deal at all. They don't kink or anything as long as you don't pull too hard. Um, for the heater, uh, it's basically in the same spot. The only thing is I had to eliminate the uh, the what is it called? I'm tired. I've been at this for a few days. Um, <clears throat> the shutoff valve for the the heater. So I removed that and she plugged right in. Uh, the wiring, yeah, for the ECU, um, yeah, it's just the stock wiring into there. And it's, I used, I put the computer in the stock location, which uh, a lot of people seem to not be able to do, but I did her just fine. Um, at work we didn't have a proper air box, so I just bought an old cheapy filter for now. She'll work. Um, I eventually want to go with a snorkel. For the power steering, um, I used the old 22RE uh, high pressure line, ran it over to there and flared the end of it. Uh, I cut a chunk out of it so that uh, I wouldn't have to fight with a whole bunch of it, but uh, once I get the rad in, I will maneuver this and get it all to where I need it to go. Uh, low pressure line is not going to be a big deal, just go off here into my cooler and then up to there. Not a big deal whatsoever. Um, what else? Oh, one crap thing about uh, this motor is I have to use the 3 liter oil pan and I will show you why. Okay, that's why. <laughs> See, the oil pan's got the, the pouch. Thing at the front, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, so I can't uh, flex at all or compress the suspension, otherwise it hits. I can't even, can't even attach my steering. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to swap out to the three liter pan, um, which isn't a big deal at all. But uh, the only crap thing is when I bought the motor, I didn't think, and I got the one with the dipstick at the front. So, I'm going to have to relocate the dipstick to the rear somewhere, somehow. But yeah, other than that, she's friggin' unbelievable. I'm just, just finishing up the wiring now. 
Um, <clears throat> I think last time you guys saw the door was on it. I took the door off so that uh, I just wouldn't have to fight with it and go around it all the time. It's a small shop, but yeah, I pulled a whole bunch of wires out of here and ran them over to the other side for the gauges. Um, yeah, I gotta remove a whole ton of those wires because I'm obsessive compulsive and don't like wires that don't need to be in the truck in the harness. So, yeah, there's the 5VZFE computer. I just finished soldering the connections up for that, so she will fire up now. Focus. There we go. Yep. Um, yeah, so fire up. The only thing is, I have to get the fuel working all the time. Now, where is it? There it is. No, it's not. There it is. This little guy, the open circuit relay, um, this blue wire here is for the fuel pump and uh, for some reason it's not staying on. So I'm probably going to have to run it on a switch or something because I don't have that uh, the air box with that little diaphragm flapper thingy in it that turns the fuel pump on so I will just, I don't know, run it to a switch I guess. Or maybe put it on key on, because I did cut, yeah, here it is, this wire here, I'll wire that into a key on, so that it's just friggin' keys on, fuel's pumping, so that is what I will do. Okay, I just, uh, spliced in that wire, that wire there, I extended it up to... Here. So now when I fire her up, she stays running. Oh yeah. Friggin' excited about that. Well, we're sitting in the boat uh, two hours later. All the wiring is all cleaned up and nicely. Uh, friggin taped up. I got all the extra wires out. Uh, I just I still have to do this area down here, the fuse panel, but I gotta reattach that uh, friggin thing to right there, little nubbin right there you see a cut off. Yeah, it was an accident. Um, but yeah, it's done. Uh, this is all what I cut out. Um, yeah, I traced all the wires back and cut them out. There's like probably hundred feet of wire there. It's just ridiculous amounts of wire. So yeah, anyways, I taped her all up. Friggin' ran her in there and uh, secured that guy again. And uh, yeah, she's all uh, friggin' uh, professionally done because I uh, can't stand hack jobs. They drive me nuts. Yeah, I got a the ground point there. It's just it's everything's really tidy. I can't stand a messy engine bay. But uh yeah, so that's where we're sitting right now. <laughs>